What's up guys, Cody from Pink Girl here. It is October 6th and I've got some really cool stuff here at the International District Store that I would like to share with you. First up here we have Final Fight 2 on the SNES. Followed by Run Saber and Knights of the Round. All very uncommon Super Nintendo games that I don't think I've played a single one of these before. Um, next up we have a game I played a lot, way too much. It's Yoshi on the NES. This was included if you were an ambassador in the 3DS program. Um, and I played this probably more than any other of those 10 NES games that they give you. Now, what's interesting about this, because it's not like a super uncommon game or anything like that, but this one's sealed, which is extremely uncommon for NES games. Completely sealed, actually by Nintendo, not resealed or anything. Really neat. And another game here for you Saturn fans, I know a lot of you guys came in at the Bellevue store. Uh, we have Burning Rangers for the Sega Saturn. Unfortunately, it is missing the instruction manual. Well, sort of. It's missing the front cover of the instruction manual, it seems. So it's still got like all the contents, but yeah, no beautiful art on this thing. It's a real shame. So because of that, it's a whole about $100 less than if it did have just that one extra sheet of paper. So that's a good way to get a deal on Burning Rangers. Next up, I have Bully Special Edition. I'm sure a lot of you, like me, have never seen this before. Uh, it's for the PlayStation 2, just a basic Bully game. Uh, why is it $100? Well, here's what Bully Special Edition includes. A kickball. Uninflated, of course. Still smell like the brand new rubber. And a comic book, sort of. All that, just for 100 bucks. That, what a deal. <laughs> And yeah, it comes in this nice little locker case. Next up, I've got Okami HD Physical. I've been told this never came out physically in America. So this is actually a Japanese copy, but I'm sure all of you Pink Gorilla fans know that the PS3 is region free. So you can play any region PS3 game, including this one, Japan, on your PS3 at home. Now this console is not region free, but this is really neat. And this is totally unique to the Japanese region. It is a Game Boy player, but this one's actually silver. That never actually came out here in America. We only got the black one. So if you have a silver Japanese GameCube, this is for you, you special snowflake out there. Also here, I've got a real cool piece of Nintendo history. It's number one of Nintendo Power, the first issue that ever came out. There's a whole lot of those floating out, floating out there nowadays since Nintendo Power ended. But we actually have two. We have one here and one at the University District Store, and they both include the free poster that is so often missing from these. And finally, I have a mystery. Let me know if any of you guys know about this. Right here, this is one of the Game Boy like memory cartridges. In Japan, you would like take this to like a machine and add games that you wanted onto it. It was like a blank cartridge and you could add multiple games. Now when you plug this in, it's supposed to be Super Mario Deluxe, but instead you get like a weird message before Super Mario Deluxe, so just let me know if you guys know what the hell this is all about. Yeah, and there you go. Hmm. I wonder what that's about. Mario and the sunglasses. It doesn't even look official or anything, but... Anyway, so that's all I got here at the International District Store for today. There's so much more stuff that I could have showed you, you know. Like I said, I made one of these videos in like two months or so. So, look forward to more videos showing off more cool stuff at the International District Store. Thanks for watching. See you guys.